Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Bianchal Let's Play. We continue for episode 22 from turn 87 in the autumn season of 207. So we're still on the same turn that we became a kingdom. We sorted out most of our court, we're back in positive income territory. And now we have to deploy some new armies to help us out. Uh, there's a couple wars that we have ongoing. A bit of a cleanup here against Ma Teng's old faction. It's pretty much wrecked. This is the last piece of land. And then we're going after his splinter faction. Oh, he has another piece over here. That's far, but uh, we'll get there eventually. This siege is not sustainable. He's dead. They could replace him. Okay, no one else can help us. And I don't think there's going to be a civil war right now. At least not the one that I'm... Oh, the heir's going to leave too. That usually would mean a civil war. Before we tank the last person, right, we can grab him as well. Yeah, we're just going to really mess up their faction. We'll force all their generals to leave and whatnot and see what happens with the fight that happens afterwards. Even though they're both our spies, they will still attack. He's going to leave. He's dead. He's our spy. So I think all we have to do actually is just back off this siege. Um, maybe? No. Um, then we're going to break siege and see how far we can run. I don't know if they'll chase us. He gets purple units. I don't think he's gonna get an army group. We're just gonna use this group. I will, however, give Chun Yu an army. Not because he has special units, but he has a good weapon. And he's been on our bench long enough. So... Who is he going with? Maybe our... Nephew who's currently in a position so that like he can get some levels. And then we'll give them like a captain group. A elite one. First one to get a elite group. I don't know what I want to have on him. I know I want some siege weapons. But aside from that... Hold on. Oh, telling units are not... Oh, oh, right. They're locked onto buildings, not factions. So we don't need to keep people like... Masio, for example. He's decent. Okay, let's not fire him. We can afford him. It's not a big problem. Most likely a cavalry group. Even though he's going to be cavalry. I just think cavalries are better. The upkeep cost is ridiculously cheap for an entire group of these guys. All right, I'm going to get the melee because he's going to get the vanguards. I 
Actually, he doesn't need to get the vanguards. He doesn't technically buff cavalry. Still new. Still new cav. Hmm, it's not technically special on him, which is the only thing I'm kind of considering. We could just run more Jade. Pretty sure we don't need this one. Alright, we're gonna run some more unique units. First, we're just going to get two of these, which we desperately need. And then it's probably just range. Frontline these, and then just have a mixed frontline here. We're out of money. So let's just hold on to this as it is. It's going to take us plenty of turns to get the army's correct on the field, and we also need to invest in buildings and whatnot. We have 15 points for the next 15 turns, where public order is going to be really bad. To the point where we might consider, oh, we can't because of food. Okay, well, we can if we do this. That's so much food freed up. Just don't want... Too many rebellions. Yeah, the population is going to kill off to 3.5, and that's going to fix a lot of the public order, hopefully. Why is it so bad? With the capital population, I guess, would be the main thing. We can build an army here, or we can... I don't even know if we have any more deployment this turn. We have four more. Well, that's a lot, actually. We could send Teeling out. Yeah, a bit bored. Oh, Gaoshun, Gaoshun, that's right. Because we can also return his weapon. Doesn't need that right now. Yep, Xianzhenying, or they have, a, they have a typo here, but that's his unique unit. Ooh, Enforcer troops. These are something we can't get anymore. They're good in melee. And have decent range. Interesting. Yeah, this is like... Like, Zhang Fei's ability is so gutted, it's pretty much War of Beast. Wow, damage resistance. And who will he work with? Maybe Ventral. But then no siege weapons, right? Mm. Doesn't look like he gets along with any... Oh, it's currently on assignment. Speaking of assignments. Let's switch commanderies real quick.
Mm, nothing super good. Guess we can keep it empty for now. That's pretty much all we can do this turn, I think. We're gonna just save that for another vassal in the future. All right, let's continue. Oh, Tuvanan's in trouble. I mean, he's stuck on March. What can we do? Just hope for... Don't get captured. Capture and execute is the only way we'll die. Look at those units. He's still on the map. We can run. Nice, we trapped them. The girls got this. Um, I guess we could fight it to minimize casualties. We wouldn't even fight this as an ambush. We would just put our troops at the escape point, and just shoot at them as they come close to us. Get some duels, maybe some hail barrels into them as they lined up in a straight line. Do a mix. We can show up behind, just harass a little. Be applying the poison shots. I'm gonna be health arrow, but no dueling. I can actually mock, but it's fine. Too many things going on. I'll try to get a duel. Nope, they can't duel. Can mock her. We should let the mock time out and not kill her. Just let her route. She has no relationship. We go after her. There we go. 
Leave him alone. Oh, she's back. He's back too. Don't want to kill them, actually. Actually, just stay away from all the fire. Might accidentally kill him. Very low. Yep. Alright, there we go. Let's see if we capture anyone. We're kind of low level. Probably not. Ah, got two actually. We'll just take the money. And the money. Well, that's not his main stack. He still has his main stack. Ooh. Wow, Sun Chen, Sun Ce got huge. And they're part of alliance with Korong. Wait, they lost their capital? No, they're still, that's a lie. What happened? They moved, they moved their capital. No, they lost their capital. Wait, 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 wait. Ling Ling. Zhu Rong? They're kingdom tier, but they're no longer a king. They're no longer one of the. Th oh, wow. Wow. Okay. All hell the queen, I guess. Yeah, Sun Tzu just took control of the entire south, but still lost his emperor seat, so he lost a lot of bonuses. No one taking this. Oh, we're in the wrong stance. We'll grab it next turn. Winter season, right. Um, we'll just do this. Mm, we do have quite a bit of money. We can't catch them. They're taking our zone away, and then we might not have enough movement to go after the town. Um, I don't think he'll delegate poorly, but I could be wrong. Eh, it's okay. That's acceptable. Today, 
Yeah, it took our movement away. We're better in the open field, so I'm not too concerned. I don't think we'll be using him very much. His problem is his level's way too high, which I guess means we can give him the administrator job. Or... I mean, or we put him back on assignment, which is what he was doing. Still 13% corruption here. But he's still on assignment. And still unhappy. It's not just, it's, there's no lack of purpose. Recent event, though. The spy is returning. We just have to fire them. I think that fixes it. Yep, that fixed it. And we're also going to fire him as well. Interesting abilities, but I don't think we need him. Her job is to organize an army to die, and then we want to inherit pieces of it. Okay, so that part's done. They didn't splinter. Who is their faction leader now? Oh, oh, we have the faction leader. We can force it. Every single person in their faction are either on the field or are administrator somewhere, which is quite intense. I don't know if we need her. Uh, only spies I would kind of want are administrator spies at this point. They're a little bit too happy. I kind of want her. So we'll use his points. Are we still doing this? I don't think we need to. I think we just grab the other domain spy. Get a foot in the door. Uh, we'll wait on that. I could make her a spy as well. Oh, our court's not done. Oh, I'm gonna fire him from this position? I can't shift him anywhere. I have no family members to put down here. I mean, I have family members, but... I guess our dear old wife... I think he'll be okay. Uh, 
大人，有何吩咐 ？Don't be angry at me. He's on the field. I doubt he'll be that sad. He's okay. 我已准备好作战了。I don't know if we want to force this fight because we have we have her, but we want to split the faction first. So we have sixty-two points. Not enough until one more turn. Mistrust is going to end. So we actually want to do interference right now, and then run this again. I think we just grab him, get another foot in the door. There's a lot of characters here we want. Not the least, Liu Bu, who's probably super old already. Oh, 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 oh! Forgot about the points. We'll, we'll wait because we need to clean up our slots before we can do anything. Yeah, we'll just set up an ambush. They come, we'll fight them, but we're not gonna force anything ourselves. I'm gonna pay to have his army set up. Still gonna be cavalry. I just don't know if I want to give him these limited ones because he doesn't have any bonuses for them. Chang units, or just go with Jade, which obviously is super strong too. Oh oh oh! Serious misclicking. And then we can spend some points for them. Just these for now. Probably guerrilla deployment as well. We need to get our own source of copper. Wait, why? Oh. Right, we lost some movement because he wasn't leading. I'm actually gonna move this army back. That's the end of this campaign area, and then we'll shift north. Four army group here, definitely enough. Let's get. Let's get the shield variant because we got the spear variant on. Luzi, and find someone he can work well with. Our wife. Oh, any chance Guo Si can recruit siege weapons? Yeah, he can. Earth units. I think earth units are siege weapon units. I'm. I think they're mixed colored. I gotta just check real quick. But yes, so Guo Si would work here. And then they will get a captain as well. We actually have just enough money for the captain. I guess we could. We probably would want these though. We'll wait. What are your specialties? Melee cav. Melee cav. What is this? Right, he has access to yellow units, which is why he has yellow cav bonuses. Maybe he gets the Xiongnu spear and some Tian units, perhaps. All right, we'll figure it out once we have the money situation cleaned up. 
they're posturing towards T path over here and then going south. We're going to clean up the north. Drogodon's in trouble. I think it's probably just better to actually recall him. This is probably lost and also a drain on our economy. Maybe we can use this to butter up with someone. Like Taltal or Sun Tzu. Maybe Taltal because we could technically trade with him. It's really negative, but this could be worth a lot. Hmm, not enough. Not enough. What about you? A swap for the food? He also have extra armor he's not using. That's that's rare. Uh, it's not great. Maybe when it comes under threat, because right now it's not that dangerous. I need to get to. Well, this needs to be downgraded. Why is this so high level? It's wasting our food. Um, state workshop. In. Are we just out of cash? We're just out of cash. Okay. Needs a private workshop as well, but also out of cash. Just missing two, actually. It's, uh, it's fine. Like, giving him land still can't give me that trade route, which makes me sad. I don't even think she can't be a empire. We still need the emperor seat, but she's not part of the three kingdoms. That's why we can't even demand abdication from her. Yeah, it's not looking good. We just need it for food. Rebellion's incoming. We need some good assignments. Oh, rebellion's imminent? For 495, we're just gonna cancel that rebellion. Our assignments have timed out. Who is our most lucrative? Still Tai. Oh, Taiyuan. Taiyuan has replaced Hedong? Buildings have really kicked in. Um, not the best place to use it. I think this is probably what we want. Yeah, get rid of some of that corruption. And then... Dong is second. Hedong is third. We need to step up the buildings. But there's different sources. I guess they're just low. Okay. I guess our wife goes to Taiwan as well. I mean, industry should go to... Taiyuan as well. Missing two assignments. Commerce... Then once we pick this up, okay. Nothing goes to waste. I think we'll be okay. Let's continue. I don't think any rebellions are going to happen. We, yeah, that's fine. That's positive 95. Yeah, we voided the tax here. Tr 
sure. Let's, we gotta get through this 15 turns of transitioning. Ooh. Against Liu Chong's old faction. Yeah, sure. I think usurping it's a pretty tough transition, especially compared to restoring. Hmm. Our wars are in the north, but now we're getting declared on all over the south. And uh Sun Tzu is taking forever to do his turn. And that's gonna cause us some problems. Oh. Why does this army delegate so poorly? I mean, I guess we're gonna have our version of Guandu with Cao Cao's old faction challenging us for control of the Yellow River. Hmm, what a map. There's no fire on these rocks. They're just here to facilitate sieging. Okay, this army isn't very good, I just realized. It's actually pretty bad. I can see why we don't delegate well. walk towards us that reinforcement group oh they might not even come over because they don't see our trebuchets and they have this tower in the back they are attacking us however they're the attacking side if it times out they lose so they have to come towards us they might just be in the forest right now Yep, 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 yep. Neither of us can duel. Our offensive stat lines, just not over 100, I guess. Because commanders can duel. You just need to be over a certain stat limit. Okay, let's do two, three, lock it. Yeah, that looks good. Back to one. Ooh, they spread their cavalry out pretty thin. Can we fire while we in square? If we can't, we can't do square. Oh, we can't. Also, fire well. We have a solution to this side. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, 
起勇气，赶快！别住！准备开战，尽情厮杀！军仓皇逃窜，一群懦夫！做好准备，杀光敌军，出手听命。We're probably gonna end up start pumping out some really cheap armies. One general, two captain retinue, just because we have so much. Reduction on the upkeep and cost of the captain revenues. It's like 500 for seven units, and we'll just overload the army count here, so that we just basically going to start delegating a lot of fights against Salto and them. Actually, we don't need to light that up, do we? They're gonna get crushed here. They're not even stepping on it. AI is very smart about that. The cavalry can't charge, so they're not moving. Really should send someone over here, but I don't think we can peel off of that. Actually, no, he can just stick with him, give everyone here a heal, and increase everyone's damage. He's down. You guys can stop shooting, actually. It'll be a lot more friendly fired. Cavalry's gonna charge into this. Flank that. Oh, let to fight that guy. They still have a couple cavalry. Mm. Army loss. We could split these armies. Both of them can get siege weapons, both of them can get captain retinues, and then they can just fight together and still keep their uh, family familiar conflict bonus. This is going to be messy. I guess summoning Julian back is a good idea. They're attacking us. We could extract her. We do want her, so I guess extracting her would be the play here. We don't necessarily need a civil war. And we have the heir, so we still have the leader next turn. They fell into... They didn't fall into the ambush, but the ambush is becoming our reinforcement, so it's just going to be a huge fight. Let's do it.
I think I'm probably gonna clean out Yuan Shao and Yuan Shang's armies, and then just summon them back towards the Yellow River. Give them two captain retinues each, give them siege weapons, maybe summon the other sons. We can have three sons plus the dad on the field at the same time. Oh, this is going to be great. The reinforcements, the cavalry army, so they can get onto the field pretty fast. Front line for these boys. I'm probably not going to micro too much. We also have extra towers. I think Guo Jia has one of the skills that gave these. Protect the flank. Where's the other guys? Um, you guys just get out. Same thing for you. We'll move all towards the same place, or else the AI would start chasing us here, which we don't really need or want. These are invisible. They can kind of sneak up. We don't have to summon them back. Yeah, we're just gonna get them back over here. Guess the invisible ones. Are they ready starting their bombardment? Zhao Yun, can you join as well? Do I need to be close to apply my Analyze Weakness? Yes, I do. Oh, Zhao Yun just like murdered him. I mean, both of them have really good weapons. Oh, there we go. Zhao Yun spares, which is fine. He's our spy. It's probably the best outcome. And then we grab her into a duel as well. Oh. I think our archers are... Yeah, they got handsy. Oh, you might have spared him, but our archers have no mercy. Oh, friendly fire. There we go. Counter charge, rescue our lord.
debuff their range. Sorry, it doesn't need any help. They don't have a lot of range units. They have a lot of spear. I can't really charge them. Well, these have range too. Spread them out. Start shooting. Alright. They're getting closer to the bomb slingers. They got plenty of firepower on this side too. Press. Multiple angles, the shield should be pretty ineffective. They see us now, we're close enough. Uh, the bombs are going. Uh, there's no unit that's going to get close. We've seen it in action plenty of times. They're not braced. Yep, you're getting sliced and diced. A couple clumps over here. Don't really want the cavalry to engage that group. But there's one guy stuck. Oh, out of ammo. One volley here, please. It's gonna be some friendly, but. We'll take those friendly. Army loss? Let's see how accurate our last trebuchet shot is. Eh, not very, but we'll take it. Chain route happened. That's all we needed to see. Oh, there's another shot that's mostly friendly. Oh no, actually, eh, somewhat. Yeah, we're going to have to mop up the north before we can focus on the south. Our corruption reduction buildings are not online yet. Our public order is in shambles. Economically, not doing great. Like, with this much land, we should be making a ton more. I could just kill him for this. Or I can just distract him. That'd be nice. No need to be nice to you. We barely lost anyone and we're on our own territory, so we'll get money. Oh. Honestly, wouldn't mind this fight. 
But we could also retreat. Like, there's no rush to fight the garrison plus the army here. We have another army coming, swooping up. It's ours eventually. This is the slightly... Oh, Doba has died, finally. 208. If we waited till here... We probably could have waited until Doba absorbed them, but he might have hit Kingdom. Oh, come on, we cannot afford this right now. Dintron, Tianshui Commandery. We don't have enough points, but we could also maybe grab someone else. To give points to her to do the Civil War trigger. But that's something we'll have to look at next time. It's finally spring. We get a few more reforms, which will help us out. Maybe some economic one uh, corruption reduction desperately needed. We're going to get our own source of copper and then this army gets summoned back afterwards. Oh, he's outside. Oh, we can do this now. This would be a good save point for us. I don't know if that army gets wiped or not. It doesn't look like it. Or we can just capture and kill them. Triple execute. And the army's gone. Or not. They could technically replace, I guess. We could peace out with them now. They're far, oh, but they're not willing. They're kind of far. Chase them down. Time to take this. Trigger civil war. Split their land. Make it a little bit easier on us. And then we're just going to start dumping armies on this coast because uh, Cao Cao, Tao Tian, and them have joined the fight. We're gonna lose this. Our vassals might suffer a bit, but that's fine. We're gonna have to protect Dong, which is the key. I think for the generals that we wanna get killed, we probably don't wanna give them Captain Red News. But for other armies that we're gonna send over here, we definitely will spam Captain Red News. That's gonna be our easy solution for our economy current state. Once we get all of this properly absorbed, by properly it means we have to get like the right buildings in there as well. Um, it might take a while for the economy to get fixed. Uh, vassal here. Probably a vassal in the north, just so we don't hold it. Like, we could hold it, I guess, with one general plus two captains. Be a pretty cheap way to fight against looters. Wouldn't be very expensive. We also need to spend some money over here. We're gonna get ourselves another vassal down here. Trade partners are dipping away because we'll be fighting with everyone eventually. So that's gonna be a concern. And we'll just try to keep replacing them and continue things from here next time. So until then, bye.